thing in Costa Rica. You know, I'm not coming into your personal life, but generally, you know, you growing, you have friends, you see them go through ABC. Dating is like really All I need is you, baby, baby. What's up there guys? This is Marwa. It's my last last day in this beautiful country. You see the flag right there? So I'm told, hey, what's happening here before you tell us your name? What is this building about? That's the main building for deputies work. Yeah. And for you know they think they make a decision. Oh about the country. About the country. Right here. Like the parliament. You know? Oh the parliament, right here. Yeah, right here. So this is like where the I think deputies is like uh, go governors in other countries, right? right? Or yeah, like senators. Like, or yeah, that like that. Or member of parliament. I didn't know that. You know, I saw a big flag, and right in front of us here we have a museo the Jade 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 Museum. Yeah. Jade Museum. Jade in Spanish they say he, ha, Jade. Jade. Yeah, Jade. J A is ha. That's why people laugh like ja 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 in Spanish. Anyway, guys, sorry for that intro. So, hey, introduce yourself, please. I'm Carolina. Yes. I'm from Aurelia, but yeah. now, like, in San Jose. <laughs> yes, Heredia is part of uh, Costa Rica, part you know. Of Costa Rica. Yeah. And I'm 23 years old. 23 years old. Mm -hmm. You're actually telling me how you're studying, like, higher degree already, like, you just finished your education. Oh, I'm just finished my, finishing my education. Yeah. That's all. Mm -hmm. Wow. So today we're going to talk about cost of living in Costa Rica. You know, many people actually fear coming to Costa Rica because they think it's very expensive. How expensive is Costa Rica? How expensive is Costa Rica? I have been traveled much because Costa Rica is kind of expensive. Wow. Uh -huh. And everything. And But if it's really worth it, you know? Wow. If you come here, yes. you, you wouldn't be... Uh, you would be glad that you came in costa rica yeah so let's say per month how much is like for one bedroom here in costa rica? okay yes you can get a bedroom depending yes. on the place yes for three hundred dollars three hundred dollars yes per month mm, like minimum like, yeah or less yeah but uh like fancy area would be like an apartment yes thousand dollars thousand five hundred dollars wow 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 that's in san jose in san jose and maybe like arabia and yeah. Cartago, are like cheaper okay but this, we're in the main city right right now yes this is uh san jose guys the capital of costa rica it has a population of i think 1.4 million people like, yeah and just here and we're five million in all the country yes a lot of people come here yes because we have you know a lot of jobs here yes so that's the main reason yeah it's the capital so it makes more sense how much do people get paid here on average let's say you have a degree and you get a job okay depends yes. that depends because okay, give us a range the minimum, you know? yeah me or minimum, minimum let's say yeah wage in costa rica is like maybe 400 dollars oh like you know minimum wage but because of living so 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 one one more question before before you continue sorry guys i interrupted her let's say there's a security guy right there at the gate or working even in, in the hostel where i'm staying he's paid for 400 dollars maybe more maybe less depends on the job like security guy can be earning uh, more or less you know i yes, can't so say that's, like exactly how much yes so you know when you said minimum minimum i thought like if you pay people less than that they can take you they can sue you they can take you to court yeah they can go to the ministry of, of, of public of, works of, of work, work yeah. and then they can sue. go against you i yeah. sue you but um but it depends like i can't say the salary that person gets okay because we have that but but minimum is 400 dollars yeah like minimum oh that's that's really good that's a guy with a degree and everything no oh it's no with degree like with degree yes like, let's say with degree it's starting like a young person yeah can earn like one thousand five hundred dollars oh. oh, wow. maybe less maybe more oh, it wow. depends on many things i cannot okay. say like it is like exactly right 
or it can the person can earn eight hundred dollars. You know, it depends of many things. The company, how many languages the person speak. Oh, wow. many things. You know. So if you are bilingual, if you speak different languages, then you have a chance to get better. Get better. Yeah, that's true. Wow. Wow. You know, I've been hearing these people, people saying Costa Rica has become so Americanized, things are so expensive and everything. But actually, even me, you're surprising me that for those type of numbers, yeah, like a thousand dollars for, you know, one thousand for an apartment. Yeah, you know, I'm wondering, that guy should be earning at least two thousand dollars, then one thousand for an apartment, another one thousand for like, cost, you know, yeah. buying food and stuff. Yeah. That's true. And so some for, people earn yeah. more, like more than two thousand dollars. Yeah. You know? So for example, you are a student and working at the same time or you just a student? I'm just a student right now. So as a student, like what's your budget per month on average? You're not coming into your life, but you know I'm trying to imagine some somebody wants to study in Costa Rica. Actually there's a Kenyan girl I met on social media who she, she studied here. So I'm wondering how much could a student be able to survive with? Or well, it depends with the lifestyle, I don't know. It depends on with the lifestyle. Let's say simple lifestyle, you know, not yeah, partying. Um, no, simple? Yeah. Maybe you need $500. $500. Like as a student, we are working and not going crazy. Like, no, like, so doing like many crazy stuff. Or, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, not you know, partying. Normal. Yes, you just like, been... Maybe that, like, it's not that cheap, but yeah. I don't feel like... Yeah, some people maybe 400 300 you can make it with you can 500 yeah wow wow and uh talking about costa rica how is the public transport here do people prefer uber taxi or uh... people prefer uber yes than taxi direct taxes because it's cheaper okay and it's better like um because sometimes uh, you can uh, request for an app, a rep taxi, depends okay. on where you are. All right. And buses are they they go everywhere. Oh they yeah, are they are buses, slow. guys. Yeah, like yeah, but I don't know if you can see. There's one somewhere there. Those buses keep moving around here all the time. And they are like they slow. go everywhere, but they will take it would take you time okay. to get there. And how about motorbikes? People use motorbikes here. I, yeah, like a lot and bikes. Okay. Or bikes, bikes with yes. motors. Like too. this one here. Yes, you have yeah. a bike moving or right there. Electric ones. Electric, too. electric one. Yeah. Wow. How is dating in Costa Rica? You know, I'm not coming into your personal life, but generally, you know, you growing, you have friends, you see them go through ABC. Dating is like really normal. People stay dating with like 15 years old. and um, From 15 years old? You know, yeah, actually, I've seen some kids somewhere yeah. there. They were, they were cuddling you know, and yeah, yeah, you know, kissing or hugging, or whatever. Yeah, and it's pretty normal. Okay. And I think dating in Costa Rica is easy, like you know. Here, yeah, can you have more than one wife in Costa Rica? Or? No. Okay. Well, some people have it, but that's the second one's not a wife. It's just another girl. Okay. That's not what we are supposed to. We it's we not customized, the, the, it's not tradition. No, it's not tradition. You know, in my home, you can have more than one wife by law. By law? Yes. No, we can't. Yeah, you cannot. <laughs> by law. So, by law, in Costa Rica, you can't have more than two wives. More than one wife, not two wives. You know, if I say more than two wives. Guys, it's very windy here. It's very, very windy. We are in this park. It's very very windy, but it's the breeze, it's the beauty, you know, you feel fresh. So you cannot have more than one wife. If you just no more. Yes. Yeah. And also as a girl you cannot have more than one. Or uh, it depends. No, it does <laughs> it's supposed not to have more than one. You know? Okay, okay. You should have a monogamous relationship. Uh, relationship. Alright, uh, what question again am I am I What's the most beautiful place in Costa Rica where everybody knows? Not only we travelers, but even people here know like that place is beautiful. I would say I love Puerto Viejo. Oh, Puerto Viejo, where I was? Yeah. Wow. It's, so, for me, it's very beautiful, but all the country is beautiful. Like, you know, there's this place they call La Fortuna. I don't La Fortuna, La Fortuna. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, you see, we are talking about relationship. You see, those are students and they are holding hands. Uh, La Fortuna. Yeah, where the volcano. Yes. 
and you can do can of either high can forest riding and you know kayak and in the lake camping yeah. yeah many stuff there and hot springs you wow. know a natural hot springs from the oh, river. natural hot springs yeah so if you want to go yeah. just go and and and, and, do, and enjoy. one last question a little controversial but after i i saw a girl walking there then that question came in my mind in costa rica there are like lots of mixed races from black mix and everything how does that work here do you feel like this racism in this country or people just live there yeah like some people feel better than the rest or oh no no yeah no. in costa rica like you know i don't know if i can say there is racism yeah but um most of people is nice like you yeah know, chill some people you know there is always some people there is no us. yeah but most of them it will be nice and you know no one will tell you where are you dating this American uh, or like black guy no, yeah nothing like that oh wow yeah so uh. that's I think guys have really tried or you have something that I didn't ask but you want the audience to know about the study you know maybe I didn't I didn't ask you you can you can add on this um yes that we're you know we're a peaceful country very peaceful yes and really eco-friendly uh, our yeah, energy yeah, yeah. is 90 like 98 uh like natural oh natural solar resources oh wow like you know then and and that's what i wanted to add <laughs> yeah and also hey guys i forgot this country is also called pura vida right pura vida country which means like uh like yeah. very fresh type of living like it's green and everything you know Actually, I was in those Everyone's sites. Everyone's welcome. Yeah, Costa Rica is really nice. How is the party? I didn't ask you about the party. Oh man, I forgot about the oh, party. Oh, the party. Partying in Costa Rica, yes. Well, mostly in the beaches. Yeah. And um, there is a place close by here called like, California. Like California, I've been there. Maybe and I'll put some videos here, you're gonna see. Yeah. And then uh, Calle de la Amargura. Okay. And people party there. But we mostly it's like in tamarindo yeah like puerto viejo yes yeah like yeah. beach area beach area people like you to know party to the beach. And, yeah so that would be hey guys i think uh i've done a good uh, video here for costa rica about cost of living and also just giving you some general clues on how to survive if you come to costa rica i want to thank Carolina here for allowing this interview to happen and hey thank you Welcome. I first knew Galorina like 2019 <laughs> and we've been friends then up to today now today we're doing a video for you guys and I say thank you so much and hey say goodbye bye goodbye oh Costa Rica people speak uh, Spanish and some speak English so if you're coming here please practice your Spanish okay bye bye from Costa Rica All I need is you, baby, baby. Here in Jamaica. What's up, guys? This is Mara coming live from New York City. We are in Hawaii. Griffith Observatory in Los Angeles. So I'm officially saying goodbye to Japan. As you see, sir, welcome to Japan. Where is Elisa? Soy de España. I'm heading to.